Thank you, Senator Scott. Senator Duckworth, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning to our witnesses. Secretary Del Toro, I want to discuss the housing issues at Halsey Village um, at Naval Air Station Great Lakes. I understand housing issues have plagued Halsey Village for years, even from a previous administration. I'm not here today to assign blame, but I do want to work constructively with the Navy on a path forward. The Navy leased Halsey Village to hunt military communities under a 50-year lease, and hunt is responsible for day-to-day -day operations. The Lake County Board Chair and Mayor of North Chicago, where Halsey Village is located, wrote to hunt <clears throat> military communities on October 2023 to express their concerns regarding the physical condition of Halsey Village. In their letter, they wrote, there is not a neighborhood in all of Lake County that is in worse condition than Halsey Village. The neighborhood has taken on the moniker of Zombie Village, given the great numbers of homes in various states of neglect, end quote. There are 353 housing units in Halsey, within Halsey Village. Currently, 249 housing units are uninhabitable, with 44 of these units so badly deteriorated that they are cornered off behind a chain link fence. It is unacceptable that the Navy is renting housing units in Halsey Village to military families and Illinois residents knowing the conditions of these homes. The Navy also offers prorated rent for sailors to live in Halsey Village. This creates an incentive for junior enlisted sailors to live in substandard conditions. No one should be living in Halsey Village and the Navy should not be creating an incentive for sailors to live there either. I want to discuss the future of Halsey Village and communicate my expectations as the Navy finalizes decisions. One, the Navy must keep my office Senator Durbin's office and the Lake County community and local elected leaders updated on decisions being made regarding Halsey Village. The path to remediate and redevelop Halsey Village will take years, and I understand that. I will remain laser focused on ensuring the interests of the community are protected and heard. Two, there are still 22 housing units in Halsey Village being rented to military families and 88 units are rented at market rate to Illinois residents. Until a decision is made on the future of Halsey Village, the Navy must continue to be responsive to the needs of the residents and, and force hunt military communities to address any maintenance issues. Three, I understand that the Navy is discussing options to redevelop the land after the homes in Halsey Village are demolished. The Navy must ensure that no corners are cut using a commercially compatible developer to avoid environmental remediation costs if such a solution would not be acceptable to the Lake County community and local elected leaders. For example, to avoid remediation, you can't just pour concrete over it and say, okay, <clears throat> it's now commercial property. That way we don't have to deal with remediation. If the community actually wants to have that property be used for future residential housing, which is desperately needed in the community. Secretary Del Toro, I understand that remediating and redeveloping Halsey Village will be costly and this problem pre-exists your tenure there. I understand that. I ask that you work with me and my staff to ensure that remediating and redeveloping Halsey Village remains a priority for the Navy and that we are resourcing these efforts appropriately. Can you commit to that? Absolutely, Senator. Thank you. Secretary Del Toro, once the Navy finalizes plans for Halsey Village, can you provide my staff with a copy of the Navy's plans to remediate and redevelop Halsey Village, including any timelines associated with those plans? Yes, Senator. Thank you. And if you find yourself in Illinois, in Chicago, anytime this summer, I invite you to come out to Halsey Village and I will tour it with you. Yes, ma'am. Promise to do so. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Duckworth. Senator Mullen, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Mr. Secretary, I, I just want to make an observation here, and I, I'm not, this is not trying to be confrontational.